to an by Mike Malave, Sam Linares, and Seth Tierney of the Hockey Pride Men's Lacrosse Team, 18-0 win. Coach, your opening thoughts on the victory? Yes, certainly I thought it was, uh, was business-like. We were focused. Um, you know, we, uh, we obviously, you, know, you guys have reported on the first two games, and um, you know, we needed to correct some things. And it was more about us. You know, I don't know how the season's going to end out. We can't, uh, we can't predict the future. But like I said after the Princeton game, uh, I like the ingredients that are that are in the cabinet. We just have to tweak the recipe a little bit. Uh, today was step one. You know, uh, Manhattan. The effort was there, uh, but it, but I, you know, I've got to be honest with you. It was more about us and more about Hofstra. Uh, from the moment that bus went into park, coming home from from Princeton, it was about us. And it's been a rough week, and uh, I, I think the guys the guys responded pretty well. Coach ended up going with Breyer in the starting lineup today, but then obviously went back to to Kavanaugh over there. You feel more comfortable with Brendan in that role? Uh, I mean, I, you know what they did was after we got up a, a couple of goals, they switched over to zone. And uh, you know, in, in, in preseason, this is the first time we've really seen zone, and we've uh, we've worked with it through with Brendan. So Brendan went uh, went Brent, Brendan went back in, and uh, when we're playing against that type of defense, it'd be a better better option for us. Um, certainly, we're going to continue to work on. Uh, zone offense again, but I thought we handled we handled it pretty well, and uh, you know again they did a they did a nice job. We got some shots off. Sam and Mike, obviously, plenty of goals on the board today. You were able to move the ball around pretty well. What was working for you guys overall? Uh, I think just keeping it simple. You know, reading the rotation, um, again get everybody involved, and you know, honestly just playing with confidence and uh, just keeping it simple. Right, uh, like you said, we saw a lot of zone today, so just. Uh, Recognizing what the other team's doing, just finding open shots, open lanes, working together as a unit. And uh, when we work together and it clicks, then we should be able to put some points on the board. Mike, you now have five goals on the man up. You had five all of last year. What do you think has been working on the EMO? Uh, just confidence, being able to have Sam at the point. And Sam's a great distributor. He's a uh, guy who can move between me and Corey real well. And um, just everyone's moving the ball quick, and guys are going to get open lanes. I just happen to uh, finish my opportunities. Sam, can you can you talk about how picking up on what Coach said? This this is really you know this this game was about you. It didn't matter who the opponent was, and this is a big confidence uh, builder which this team needed after two tough losses. Uh, yeah, you know, um, you know, looking at the first few games, you know, we feel you know as a group uh, we kind of beat ourselves with the turnovers and the mental mistakes. So, you know, um, like Coach said, even once we got back from Princeton, we really had to you know put on another gear and, you know, clean all the stuff up, you know, clearing game on the offense defensively. And we were able to do that tonight and have to get a win. Okay. Mike, kind of the same question about, you know, again, regardless of who you're playing, you got to get that W and get this thing yeah, turned course. around quickly. Um, like uh, I think you said two weeks ago, Division One teams, you can't overlook anyone. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, we were prepared for today and uh, we really wanted to just be firing on all cylinders. and. A win's a win, and to hold the team to no goals, that's a huge credit to our defense and uh, the way that we prepared. Coach, how'd you get the how'd you get the players to put those two games in the rearview mirror because you can't play them again? Yeah, and, uh, Steve, we, it, it's not easy, you know, especially when people are constantly bring up the past last year, uh, and then you throw the weight of, you know, some of the things that happened, you know, to us prior to the year, and, and certainly playing for Joe and and, and getting number thirty six his first win today. There's been a lot of stuff going on, and. Um, you know, the way we lost the Marquette game, being up four twice, that one stung a little bit. And, and then Princeton, you know, we had a bad 10 minutes, and you can't have that in Division One. So basically said so we just have to we have to learn from what happened. It's, uh, this is a whole new year. It's a whole new chapter, and we just got to be able to move forward. So let's cut it loose, and I don't care what the score is today, win, lose, or draw. I just want to make sure that we can put together some offensive stuff, some defensive possessions, and let's start to just get some confidence back and learn how to win. Are you of the opinion that, that you know, non-conference games and non-conference games, obviously you'd like to win them, but not a lot of damage has been done. It's a, it's a you know, you have all of the season ahead of you still. I mean, as, as a coach, as a competitor, as players, there's damage when you lose, no matter what, you, you know, no matter what anybody says. The conference is obviously going to have a lot of weight, and, and most of the weight. You know, we've... Uh, I don't think it's a shock to anybody when you go down 0 and 2. You start to think about that at large berth, maybe maybe slipping away a little bit. But we got a lot of games to go, and uh, tonight we won one, and now we got to cut it loose like we cut the first two loose, and we have another uh, another huge opponent, uh, another angry opponent in Georgetown. 
Uh, there's some hostage ties there. There'll be some emotion there. And, um, you know, we've got to start preparing for Georgetown. Was it important at the end for this to be a shutout? This is the first time this program has had a shutout since 1970. I mean, obviously it was a lopsided score, but having gone that deep in the game, did the guys want to kind of preserve that? Uh, I mean, uh, we, we, we wanted to, to sub. There's a lot of guys that give everything they, that they have uh, Monday through Friday and maybe don't get some credit for the playing time on Saturday so or on game day. Um, so, uh, again, we subbed out and we got just about everybody in the game, and, and that's what we wanted to do. Um, it certainly, I, I, again, I don't, we're not rubbing it in, but it was, uh, it was something, I guess maybe it was just a visual thing for us to keep them to no goals after maybe being let down a little bit defensively uh, in the first two games or giving up more goals than we would like to. And this is, just gives us a little bit more confidence that this could get done, regardless of the opponent. Coach, you talk about that defense to get that shot. Did you change anything maybe coming into today, or was it just a similar strategy and better executed? Uh, we tweaked a few things, but again, it was more it was more about how some of our how some some of our leaders were handling things, and it was all in good intention. The problem was we've had we got a couple of seniors on the defensive end that were just they care so much about winning and have to lacrosse that they were doing too much, and in that time, it was actually hurting us instead of helping us. And tonight, they went back to. The, the grassroots of what we're, what our defense is about, and that's why it was, uh, you know, it was a pretty successful night down that end of the field. Coach, was there anybody younger that you saw that got some minutes in there that you can see and feel confident with that you can put in maybe in the future for more depth? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of freshmen that are running around, a couple of sophomores that are running around. Todd Griffin has had a pretty good first three games, even though you know our record is uh, is one and two. Uh, Brendan Cavanaugh got his first goal. Dylan Oldman's doing a good job. Alex Mosier got his first goal. Timmy Golden played well today. Uh, like good to see Cole Consign get a get a, get a goal today. Um, you know, Connor Hall got some faceoffs. Chris Clark was pretty good at the X today. You know, again, all of those things. Everybody's got a piece of the puzzle, and they got to be able to bring that piece so this thing fits uh, fits together. On a day where everything goes right, what are you looking at and going into practice as you go to Georgetown? What things can you change or at least keep working on? Yeah, they've got some talented midfielders. There's no getting around it. You know, uh, Devin Lewis, Craig Burge, they got some guys that can play down there. And we gotta we gotta be able to make sure that we're ready to go. We got a few talented attackmen. Number six is is one of the better attackmen that we've seen so far. Uh, again, I we've got a chance to watch them play a little bit on film. Um, but you know, we were again we were concentrating on, on the Manhattan game and on us. Um, but in some uh, very little free time. I did get a chance to watch them in a short week, and uh, you know, defensively, Kevin Warren, a Hofstra alum, is done, done, doing a great job down there. Matt Rakowski was an assistant of mine a couple years ago, so there's going to be some, uh, it's going to be competitive on the field and be competitive on the sidelines. Is this a hard game to play when the temperature's like 20 degrees? Uh, we don't. After the last first couple of games, we we're, we're we're numb to weather. I know it was nuts the other day, but you know. Yeah. This is what it is. There's no, you know, I, I don't have an answer to you. It is what it is. If it's hot, it's hot. If it's cold, it's cold. We're going to complain about it. Or we're not going to complain about it. Two teams got to play. Two men enter, one man leave, and that's the end of it. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you.